We are tracking another winter storm as we head into Oscars Sunday. You can see the band of rain just off the coast here right now. Southern California is dry for the red carpet, but that rain soon to move in guided by this big low that will also bring a chance of thunderstorms in our outlook. What's new is the timing and totals that we're starting to see as we edge closer to what's next. The storm rolling in as we look out towards a gorgeous spring Gilmore backyard. Temperatures at this hour still in the 60s in the valley as well as for the foothills to near 70 and then we hit temperatures right around 60 degrees for this year. Now the deal with the winds, they're going to be particularly gusty as the cold front starts to move in. That'll happen overnight tonight through early tomorrow with wind gusts up to about 25 to 30 miles per hour. But currently at about 5 to 15 miles per hour as we head into our late Sunday afternoon and evening. But the timeline shows how quickly things are changing. We turn from partly cloudy skies to cloudy conditions right in through just after sunset and then rain begins roughly at about 10 p.m. with temperatures holding steady for tonight. Again, the winds are going to be a big part of this storm system, but they'll certainly be present. Wet morning commute and a chance of storms developing for the afternoon. Winter uh, weather advisory also in place tomorrow for much of the day. Slippery roads, limited visibility, possible chain controls, a messy situation up top for the high country. For the morning commute locally in the valley, we've got it in the red for six 7 and 8 a.m. with rain and snow for the high country. And then for the p.m. commute, we have that chance of thunderstorms. So not all of us are going to see the rainy conditions, but we are going to see those isolated showers and again, some thunderstorms as well. In terms of our snow levels, since we are going to be seeing some colder air work in, we'll start it off at 6,000 feet, but during the day, we're going to see that uh, jump up to about 6,500 feet and then come right back down as that colder air works in for Tuesday morning. So overnight Monday, into Tuesday morning, we will still have some snow out there. Bottom line here, we're going to see uh, snow on all of the passes throughout the course of this storm rolling in. We'll continue to track that overnight with that slick morning commute, plus those isolated thunderstorms. You can see if you're headed out for that morning walk or jog, it's not going to be the best right through 10 a.m., but then we start to see improving conditions because of the isolated nature of some of the showers that will be popping up. But again, one of the other th uh, risks that we have is the thunderstorms and that will extend through the southern Sacramento Valley through the San Joaquin Valley all the way down into Southern California. We could even see a few thunderstorms with the snow in the Sierra. With the rain, we're going to be bringing down those pollen counts on Monday down to the medium category, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they're right back up. Nice to get some help from Mother Nature right now with some of the rain coming in. Here's the band of rain at 10 p.m. The heaviest hit at 10 p.m. will be right along I-80 as you head out towards the Delta and also the Carquina Strait. So Fairfield, Vacaville, Dixon, Davis, we're going to start to see that heavier rain as well as the Bay Area there. And then that pulls its way eastward throughout the overnight hours. Some of the heaviest rain actually between midnight and 4 a.m. really coming down. So maybe I got those windows open. Make sure to close them for tonight as you head down I-5, Highway 99. Very slick conditions as we head towards the morning commute. Now some of this starts to break up slightly and that band of heavier rain moves off to the east into the foothills and the snow heavy at times, particularly south of Highway 50. We're talking 88, 89, as well as 120 and 395, where we'll see some of the higher totals actually. Once that counterclockwise circulation starts to pull on through as that low moves through, we'll see the showers breaking up ever so slightly by noon. But again, with that cold air coming into place, we also see some instability and the chance of thunderstorms for the afternoon. Snow will be spotty by 5 p.m. and then we think we're done, but not quite. Uh, back edge of this system starts to affect us early Tuesday morning with the snow in the Sierra once again. It's not going to last long. We'll be back to the dry conditions by Tuesday morning's commute. But again, those overnight snow showers still in the forecast. As far as our totals, about a half an inch to an inch throughout the valley, as well as the foothills. Higher totals will be south of us. So Carson, Ebbets Pass, 6 to 12 inches of snow. Compare that to Lassen, Donner, and Echo Summit, 3 to 6 inches of snow. Nice to get any raindrops and any flakes we get, though, because then we head back to this drier-than-average forecast.